And welcome back to WPSD Local 6 Midday, another version of Local 6 Legal Line. Visiting first with the Honorable Emily Rourke from the Bryan Law Center, Paducah, Mayfield, and Louisville. And uh, handles a lot of mass torts, and one of which is Roundup. And someone wants to know, are you taking any new Roundup cases? Sure, we're taking Roundup cases. We've done Roundup cases for a while now. Had a couple settlements on them, and so we're going to continue to take Roundup. Um, we stopped for a little while and we're going to do, I guess, what I would consider a third round of Roundup cases. So we would be happy to take your cases. And if you have a Roundup case, feel free to give us a call. Someone wants to know how much exposure to Roundup might you have had to have before you can get involved in this? Right. That's a good question because it's kind of changed throughout the years. You know, Roundup um, mass torts have been around. You've probably been seeing them on TV for several years, maybe three or four or five years now, I'm not sure. But at this time, we're taking Roundup cases where you've had exposure for two years. So basically what we're looking for um, in order to get you a settlement is that you have sprayed and had direct exposure um, by spraying Roundup um, for at least two years. It used to be we were taking cases for one year um, if you want to call us and talk to us about it, if it's one year, but mainly we're probably not going to take a case unless you've had direct exposure for at least two years. Next question comes from Jacob who wants to know what kind of information will you need if I think my dad may have a case and he's saying his dad passed away earlier this year and our condolences on that uh, Jacob but uh, anyway I, I'm guessing they can file a case on behalf of a lo loved one that has passed? Yes and, and yes um, I'm sorry about your dad and unfortunately that happens a lot in these cases so we need to know what kind of exposure and if you have any proof of the exposure a lot of times people still have um, those bottles in the garage or in your father's garage. If you have those, take pictures, save the bottles. And then um, you, we need proof that your father had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which you will know that if he did. And it's just a blood, uh, it's, it's cancer in your blood, basically. And um, then if it's past uh, 2000, we're gonna have some trouble. We also have trouble with medical records, but we probably won't take the case if it's older than that. Um, but those are the main things that we need. We can get the medical records for you, but if you can get something showing that he did have non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and if you'll just let us know that he used that, then we can work on the proof later. Last question comes from Linda, who wants to know, are you only taking these type of cases from Kentucky? No, in any mass tort that we work on, we do take cases from Kentucky. We have a lot of uh, clients in this area, in the Western Kentucky area, um, you know, Southern Missouri, Southern Illinois, but we take cases all over the nation. So if you or a loved one has used Roundup and you think you have cancer from that, please give us a call. We're happy to talk to you. But if you have a family or friend who's used it anywhere in the country, give us a call because we will take a mass tort anywhere in the country. The Honorable Emily Roark from the Bryan Law Center, Paducah, Mayfield, and Louisville, our guest on part one of today's Local 6 Legal Line. Numbers right down here if you've got a personal injury question for the Honorable Austin Kennedy. He's up next in the hot seat on part two of Local 6 Legal Line. That is next on Local 6 Midday.